Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Sarmatians. So we're yet again at war with the Roman Empire. And I was considering in the last very end of this last video attacking into this army. I was looking at it closely. They've got a 155. That five maneuver value is is very important because this territory is 38.7% plains, 19% woods, 18% desert mountain. Unfortunately, our commander only has one maneuver, which is very significant. If we attack into that while that general is there, then they'll very, very likely roll terrain that's very dis disadvantageous to us. Um, but he's leaving, and he's leaving behind six. So I think what we'll do is we'll let that army leave, and then we'll attack the six stack. If he r turns around and reinforces, since the general won't be there when we engage, we should roll planes, and then his his ability to determine terrain won't affect us. So let's see how that goes. And also, I was looking at this um, to see how the Roman manpower was doing, and I noticed something kind of funny. Um, it doesn't show it on this screen, but if you're on the first screen and you're looking at the max manpower, notice that the Romans are a lucky nation. <laughs> on top of all of their other bonuses and their immense size, they are a lucky nation. I forgot that that was even on. It's kind of funny. Explains why they've had some pretty good generals as well. And someone had mentioned in the last video that there are triggered modifiers we can look at for these to find out exactly what these, these uh, settings are. Um, one of the following must be true. All of the following must be true. Number of cities is at least 80. So administrative technology lower than 19. You're allowed to have 80. 80 to 160 is going to be considered large. Or, if all of the following is true, if we're between admin tech 19, but less than 32. So 19 to 31. Okay, so we'll be able to have twice as many cities by the time we get up to admin tech 19. That's going to be a long time. But And then also there was, um, there was another one for huge empire. So that's just if we go straight up to 160. Damn. Classical era, medieval era. So medieval era is when? Admin Tech 18. Just, just that's all we have to do is just get to Admin Tech 18. Still, um, it's all it's going to do is lower some of the penalties. It's not necessarily going to remove them. Building power cost goes down. Interesting. Modern times. Leaders without upkeep. I mean, it's, it's kind of a really cool system, if you think about it. Anyway, okay, let's focus on this war again. Okay, we've just won that battle, that's great. We should go kill that army now, too. He is going to split his army, fantastic. Let's wait till the, uh... Now the whole army's moving. March 3rd, part of it will be gone. Nope, he's, he's remo- he, Okay, he just recalculated. Now they're all moving together. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just let them suffer their 5% attrition. We're suffering, like, 2% or 1% attrition, which isn't bad. Also, um... I had also spent a little bit of time considering policies, and we're behind on diplomacy tech, but it's also our most powerful um, monarch point right now. So I do think that we're going to add a trade policy to make just a little bit more money. I mean, that is a really powerful policy. Trade policy, 10% trade efficiency in the national trade income modifier. Keep in mind, trade efficiency affects trade income too, so it's 25% it's more income from trade. So, bam, just like that, two more ducats a month, which... We don't really need the money, but we're going to be spending money, so. No leader here. I think we'll go ahead and engage. You will go to there, and then you'll go to Bessabaria. Bess Bessabria. Bess Bessarabia. Bessarabia. I know what it is. I think. This army feels fairly safe, so I think we're going to split it. Siege two at once. If we're going to suffer the attrition, we might as well. Oh, sweet. We'll totally take that. These are this, just the Dacians, though. I mean, killing their manpower is not that great. Still, uh, we took a crossing penalty, but Babay's Saromation. Oh, that's a cool name. He's going to do fine because he's fighting no leader, so... He still effectively has a one bonus. Almost as bad as attacking without a leader, but not quite. I'm going to be really ballsy here. We'll go for all four. 
And then, but these armies, though, I think we'll just keep right next to each other. Ooh, mar mercantilism, yeah. Totally. I'm all about that. You're gonna move into Bessabaria. Bessarabia. I, I will get it right eventually. And Dacia does have a 2-2 commander here. We have a no-leader army here. I'd really prefer to use a leader, though. Let's continue to smash about and get war score from the Dacians. It's not much. Oh, you know what? That's true. We could also spend time looting. Hmm. I did go through as well and check to make sure that, yes, look at this. Tax income efficiency, 15%. And manpower, zero. Like, they're suffering all of that African territory. So useless to them now. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, that's good, that's good. Here comes a 12 stack. That's a little dangerous. 25th, 1st, 28th, twenty seventh. This army's stuck. We can reinforce. We don't have a general, though. And I think we're going to need to send a general, so... We'll have the general go and join that fight, and then this 7 stack can maybe... We'll have it move there too, but it's just going to try to track down that 1 stack. We'll ignore this army, it's not going to actually siege anything effectively. I'm imagining that the army that we're seeing here was the one that was here, so there's probably another 20,000 men there or so. These guys should all be able to siege. If this guy... He'll, he'll be able to take this, right? Yeah, he just needs one, one month tick to get back up to 2,000. So that seems fine, but there's probably an extra troop. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. We could, if we wanted to, <clears throat> take one army from here and go looting. Might as well. Let's not do it with the uh, the general. Leave the general behind and let him siege. I think he's got siege value. No, he doesn't. He's actually... Not very good. Well, I'll probably forget about looting, but... That's only because the looting mechanic is really dumb. And requires constant attention. Alright, never mind. He's decided to come to Sukavea. Okay, so we will re-gear and rally to Sukavea. Still suffering 3% attrition. So I'm thinking that we take the weaker army plus the general, combine them. As soon as this guy arrives in Bukovina, two days, we go and kill it. Other than that, this army is not moving, so we just wait. So, I mean, all it takes is, like, barely any troops at all coming in. Maybe we even take this fight. We'll arrive on the 12th. I heard the loot sign. Sound. Acre, 10 ducats, please. That'll be 10 ducats, please. Since he's committing so heavily over here, we'll spread out a little bit more down in that whole area. Who? What? Who now? You declared war on the Holy Roman Empire? That's nuts. The reconquest of Ostmark. Awesome. Attack the beast. It must be put down. And uh, Dacia dishonored their uh, military alliance with the Romans. Haha! -ha. <laughs> That's awesome. Lombardi has honored the alliance. Oh, war taxes. Perhaps we should do that as well. We doing okay in military attack? I think we are. We could use the money. Let's do it. So, these fellas called in all these guys, and now they're going to go take care of the west side of the Romans. This will be fun. Oh, this is going to be great. He is moving to Sukave. He'll be there on the 28th. We can be there on the 28th as well. So because this army is engaged, he's willing to fight. He's coming in with his 1-5, but, um... I don't want to spread too much thinner than this, I think. As long as we turn this army around and reinforce in, we've got enough men. Hmm. 
Yeah, they want a big fight here. Now, we actually have enough troops to man the front line. We don't really need to reinforce yet. Only need to reinforce if we need morale. We have a discipline advantage. Huge morale advantage as, as well. <clears throat> wow. Why do we have so much more than them? Oh, you know what? It's Daisha. Daisha is the leader and Daisha has no prestige. Neither of them have any prestige. Awesome. So we have a morale advantage and we've got a troop type advantage. We've got reinforcements handy if we need them. Just keep watching that morale bar. And we also want to make sure the front row doesn't get too weak so they start to fight poorly. If they're fighting against armies that are about equal, then that'd be bad. Got a... Got an advantage in both phases. They took a crossing penalty, so we got an effective 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four versus a 2-2. Two, two. It's just a really good fight for us. We'll take it, Romans. Not very smart, are you? We do have other armies. We should bring them in. And since that army is going to lose, we'll continue to spread backwards. We're not going to expand the front line. These guys, I mean, because I want them to be strong on the front line. But this will probably be the war where we actually do try to take them to 100, like 20 war exhaustion. Okay, they have reinforced, so I think we will reinforce. Hopefully these guys can get there before our morale breaks. Just need a little nudge of morale, just a tiny bit. There we go. Just enough to keep them happy. Romans have just decided it's time to warn somebody. Look at the 17 brave Sarmatian regiments versus 50 plus of the Dacian horde. 1.69 war score. All together we lost 2,000 men to their, what, 7,500? Not a bad ratio. <clears throat> we did pick up some war exhaustion. No, nothing major. They pick up 1.49. Very good. And we're starting to win sieges. We're already at 34% war score, which is more than we ever had versus the, uh, in the previous war. A few more sieges would be nice to get rid of our... That's unfortunate, especially while we're trying to core. Damn, I, I had harsh treated that, too. Alright, so we're gonna combine and then split, and then, um... I feel fine with you guys being the way you are. I do want to attack that leaderless army as soon as we get enough morale. Yeah, there we go. You can move in. You actually have enough morale to fight, so let's do it. <clears throat> Ooh, the Dacian army. As small as it is. It's only two stacks, but it... Shattered just one province over. And we're going to get there one day later, but we should be able to probably kill that. Nice. Fourth. Ninth. Let's chase him down. Wonder how these guys are doing. Zero so far. They've had two successful battles. Nice. The Romans are going to get torn apart. We'll follow the coast. Ooh, Cairo. Yeah, we want to siege. We want to loot Cairo as well. <coughs> now our power projection has slipped, but I think. We can embargo the Han soon. Our truce with them is gone in 5 September 213. So in one year, we can embargo the Han. And that'll probably put us back above the amount of power projection that we need. It would be nice. Oh, sweet. Dacian army. The Dacians are even weaker than the Romans, obviously. And we could loot this, so might as well. Hmm. <laughs> and I noticed something strange. If you engage an army, you can't loot. You have to move into a province that's unoccupied in order to loot. There we go. There's a stack wipe. 
So like same thing with like Thames, we probably didn't loot it even though it is a lootable province. So watch this, we just, if we just take one army, and we move back into Oltenia, we will be able to loot it. Now that there's no... See how silly that is? And again, this uh, this province is unlootable. Well, now it's looted. It's loot it looted on the tick. All right. Wow. Four minutes, forty-seven thousand. Okay. So yeah, it's a little bit too early to carpet siege. But we did just siege something else. I just saw. There it is. A one stack. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Good. As long as we keep our war exhaustion down. And then. Uh, Let's not even worry about sieging out Dacia yet. I just want to keep these armies as close to each other as possible. That one's okay. I guess five stacks are pretty acceptable. I guess we will keep that guy there for now. But my goal is probably going to be to, um, in this case, probably separate peace Dacia. And then c carry on the war with the Romans. For some reason, we're allowed to, uh, to separate peace them. 118 war score would allow us to vassalize Dacia. How awesome would that be? Mm. And then let's see what kind of cost we're looking at with dealing with the Romans. Awesome. It's the third Darmatian conquest of Dacia. So because we use the tribal conquest CB against Dacia, we get the same benefits as if we declared the tribal conquest CB against the Romans. So any provinces that we want this time are going to be zero diplomacy points. So we can take some land from them this time. 2600 war score to actually consume all of them. Meanwhile, I need to remember that this is here. Anyway, my point with that is just that we can um, do some more work. I think we'll try to split their lands somehow so that they can't rally very well. And then when we get them up to 20 war exhaustion, they will just have lots of cultural rebels. So they're already down to medium. We are already getting a ticking war score. We've won 100% of the battles. And this guy's a 1-2. So we'll probably need to get you, sir, to work your way back. In fact, you have no siege progress here, really. I'm going to risk this. We're going to detach, detach, detach. Detach, detach. Shoot. We're trying to core that province, so I don't I don't want it to get sieged down right now. Move to Rashid. Looks like these guys have been doing some work. Triple Tripolitanian nationalists. Cool. Okay, cool. Well I'm gonna take a break here and uh glorious five percent Roman attrition. We like that. And I will see you in the next video. See you again soon.